Hi, I'm Dr. Prabhat Kumar Singha, specialist in liver and pancreatic surgical diseases. So today I'm going to talk about a complicated but a bit of a rare surgical disease. So I'm going to talk about liver cancers. So as we all know, liver is the main factory in our body and it is the largest organ inside the body. So uh, liver does a main role in maintaining uh, overall function of the body. So it is essential to synthesize proteins uh, which is needed for growth of the body as well as it is important to uh, produce certain antibodies which would help in maintaining the immunity as well as certain factors which should help to clot our blood in the body. So and also another important function is to remove the waste products from our body. And it also is the main place where the processed food is stored. And it is the organ which would process its food and uh, keep it in storage and deliver into the bloodstream when it is necessary. So liver has a lot of functions and you can't, a person cannot survive without a functioning liver. So uh, if you talk about the common cancers which occur in liver, is most common is where you get secondaries where there's a cancer elsewhere in the body and which would get deposited in the liver so liver is one of the common sites where you get secondary deposits so what are the primaries which can give to give rise to liver secondaries most commonly is the bowel cancers as well as uh, breast in uh, lungs and sometimes in ovaries uh, or pancreas so these are the other primaries where you can get liver secondaries so out of say i said that bowel cancers are commonly give rise to secondary deposits in liver so in these patients so removing the primary cancer the bowel cancer is important as well as removing the liver secondary is also very important because they are survival or how long they are going to survive is depending on uh, clearing the secondary deposits in the liver so these are the secondary cancers. So if you talk about primary cancers, mainly there are two types of primary cancers. One is called hepatocellular carcinoma uh, and the other one is, uh, is a cholangiocarcinoma. So hepatocellular carcinomas are mainly occurs in a, uh, patients who are having cirrhosis and uh, cholangiocarcinomas are mainly occurs uh, in relation to bile ducts and biliary canaliculi. So both these cancers, uh, the mainstay of treatment is removal of the cancer or removal of part of the liver. So uh, when you talk about removal of the liver, it is uh, now it's a very safe procedure, not like in those days. So blood loss is very minimal, about 300 to 500 uh, milliliters. And there are special types of uh, equipments we use uh, to remove parts of the liver. And about uh, 60 to 70 percent of the liver can be removed safely and uh, with time uh, the remaining liver will grow and take over the function so unlike those days now liver surgery is quite uh, common as well as it is safe so these are the uh, main common uh, surgical problems which would need a liver resection or removal of part of the liver and uh, in certain groups of people where the liver is completely i mean or the liver function is uh, completely uh, not there like the patients who have cirrhosis or end stage liver disease they might need more complicated surgery as liver transplant so it's a special type of surgery which would need proper assessment of the patient and proper selection of patient that who would benefit from a liver transplant so these are the uh, common surgeries which is needed for liver disease so as i mentioned before so if you have a liver related uh, problem uh, liver cancer or uh, or cirrhosis it's best to consult a specialist in uh, liver disease uh, and get more information and guidance to uh, treatment thank you